Hey guys, this is the Mount Wilson Trail hike to Mount Wilson. Now, there's a few different ways to get to Mount Wilson. There's a lot of different ways. Uh, and this is just one of them. This is, uh, I think, is what the old, this is the oldest trail to get up here, the original trail to get to Mount Wilson, which is up there with the antennas on it. It's about 15 miles round trip, and it's a tough one. There's a lot of climbing, and uh, I like it because it's not as popular as the hike from Chantry Flats, which is a beautiful hike but the parking can get crazy and the crowds can get crazy there. Uh, this one, in comparison, is pretty mellow. So if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com. I have all the maps and parking info, yada, yada, yada. But otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So the hike starts at Mount Wilson Trail Park here in Sierra Madre. Uh, there's a decent amount of free street parking. So you can just park on the street. And the park here has a bathroom. Sometimes it's locked, sometimes it's not. So I would not count on it. And you're just gonna walk up to the corner here and you'll come to a little historic site, uh, Lizzie's Trail Inn, which is I think a now a museum. Open on the weekends, you can go online and see what the hours are and there's a little memorial plaque there. And you're gonna walk straight up this road. And it's a residential road, so please be uh, considerate of locals. And eventually you'll see this turn off here to the left. And this is the start of the trail. There's a lot of signs telling you that, telling you to be careful, all that fun stuff. But anyway, you're just gonna hike up here. And this sort of runs parallel to the road for a while. And uh, after a few minutes, you'll come to a set of stairs and you're gonna climb up the stairs and you'll be back on the road that you were on before. Um, and you'll see a sign telling you in the right place pointing you towards Mount Wilson, and you're just going to head straight here. Now, this is the only section that's really like a road until you get farther up, um, but eventually you will go through this uh, little intersection. You'll see there's a road off to the left there, dirt road. And this is like kind of a locals area. You might see a little trash around here, but eventually uh, you'll get through this, and it will turn into a single track trail, and it will be glorious. Look at the views here. You'll be able to see the trail winding around. You'll be able to look down into uh, Sierra Madre and you will start the climb. Now here at this junction, you're gonna go to the right. You'll see there's a trail that heads back there. You're gonna go to the right and keep hiking up here. Now the trail follows along um, Little Santa Anita Canyon and you'll be going up the side of it. And again, awesome views, uh, beautiful spot and uh, beautiful scenery. You're gonna come up to the uh, junction for first water, which is down to the right. You're gonna keep left. If you need to fill your water bottle up, you can go down there. It was actually used as a, uh, you know, a drinking hole for the visitors of yesteryear who didn't have camelbacks. But uh, keep heading up here. And uh, you know the trail continues to go upward. You continue to get these beautiful views of Little Santa Anita Canyon. Soak it all in. Now at this junction, you're going to make the hard right. And you can see there's trail signs. Everything's pretty well marked here. Some of them are a little worn, but in general, you're not going to get lost. Famous last words, but anyway, follow the directions. You'll be fine. And you can see the trail is nice and small, and uh, it gets wooded at some points here, and you're going to climb up sort of at the end of the canyon and keep going straight here. Eventually you'll come to Orchard Camp, and this used to be a little hotel and a rest stop for people doing the climb back in the old days. And you'll see some ruins of it. There's a foundation, and you can have a look around. There's a little interpretive plaque, so take a look around if you want to. It's a nice place to grab a bite, have a snack on your way up. At this point, you'll have done some serious climbing. Then unfortunately, you're gonna do some more serious climbing right after that. It gets pretty steep here. There's some little switchbacks and uh, you're gonna have to put the work in, but that's why we're here. So just go ahead and hit these switchbacks, keep going up, and eventually you'll reach this intersection. And if you've done the hike from um, Chantry Flat, you'll recognize this. You'll be at the intersection with Winter, Winter Creek Trail. Um, there's the famous bench that you get when you descend from Mount Wilson on that other loop for uh, the Chantry Flat hike. And you're gonna go 
to the left and you're going to hike up towards Mount Wilson. And if you have done the other hike, this will look familiar. Um, you're basically going up the way you normally go down. And you keep going up and eventually you'll reach the Mount Wilson Road, the old Mount Wilson Road. You can make the hard right on, on the road and head up towards Mount Wilson. And this generally gets a little busy. You might see a lot of hikers here, some mountain bikers. Um, so just watch out. And after a little bit, you're going to see the uh, turnoff for the trail. You can take the road up if you want, but the trail is much nicer. So look for this little turnoff here to the right. There's a couple of little switchbacks in the beginning. And you're going to take this trail all the way up to the parking area at Mount Wilson. And this stretch is nice too as you go up here. Um, if you look down to the left, you're going to get some nice views into downtown LA if there's not a marine layer hanging over the city. But the views are beautiful here. And you'll catch them on the way down too. You, uh, you basically descend the way you came up. So you'll be hitting this all again. And eventually you come out to the parking lot at Mount Wilson. Um, now there's a few things to do here if you've never done this hike before. You can go up to the summit, which is on that side of the parking lot. And there's also a restaurant called the Cosmic Cafe where you can grab a bite. Otherwise, you can head over to this vantage point here and look down into the marine layer, which is normally L.A. So that's how you do it. And then you just head back down the way you came. So that's the hike. If you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com if you're not there already. And you get the maps, the parking info, everything you need to know to do the hike. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely go to the Hiking Guy article and check it out because there's important information. Um, and if you could also click on that little thumbs up button, that will help other people find the video, hopefully do the hike safely. So uh, yeah, Matt Wilson, if you haven't done it in a while or if you've done it from Chantry Flat and you haven't done this route, it's worth the trip. It's a fun hike. It's nice here. So I'll see you out on the trails.